Good morning and welcome to another Hub Day Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Scott Jones coming to you from Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. And this morning I am coming to you virtually. I guess I'm always coming to you virtually, but I'm actually on vacation. So this, uh, this is recorded live, but is tape delayed. I'm on vacation this week following my, my daughter's wedding, and I'm sure it went well, because why wouldn't it? Um, and I am relaxing. I'm imagining myself even now relaxing um, after the wedding. And, and in these moments of relaxation, and especially this week, um, I'm reflecting. I'm reflecting on the last five years I have served as pastor here at Ascension. Uh, this Friday actually is the fifth uh, anniversary of my ordination um, in the ELCA. And I had served another denomination before this, so I've been in the pastorate longer than that, but you know, anniversaries are an, a time that invite us to reflect and to think back on what has transpired. So in this week following my daughter's wedding um, and uh, the day that she'll celebrate anniversaries, hopefully for, for decades to come, I look at this anniversary, this upcoming anniversary this week, and look back on, on the, the years that I've been in ministry and, and uh, previous career before that, and also look forward to the years to come and, and imagine what might be next. It's in these moments when we have a little time to pause and reflect where we have the luxury of looking both back and looking forward. And at this time of year, as we prepare for uh, a new season, a new year, the school year is starting, plenty of students have already returned to school in our area. Um, and new patterns, or actually um, old patterns, are returning after a summer hiatus. It's an opportunity for us to think new and different um, as we look ahead to what might happen in the coming year, and also give thanks for what has happened in the previous year. As I reflect on the five years I've been here at Ascension, uh, a huge chunk of that time certainly um, has been impacted by, by COVID. And in these post-COVID years, every day I'm grateful for the fact that we're able to gather. Um, and I'm even grateful that over this time I've grown comfortable <laughs> standing in front of a camera and uh, sharing with you something I never thought I would do. I pray that, that uh, these messages to you are a blessing, that our online presence for worship is also a blessing to you. I welcome your feedback and thoughts as we continue to um, tweak these ministries um, in the years ahead and figure out what's most effective and uh, how we can best share the good news of God's love with all um, who need to hear it, which is actually all people in God's creation. Um, today, this week, I encourage you to spend some time not only looking back, but, but imagining a future, maybe a future that um, you never before felt like you could imagine, um, and pray. Um, lean in to, to God in, in these moments, giving thanks for what has transpired the good and the bad for the lessons learned for those times where you've been able to see God's presence. And as you look toward the future, I, I pray that you do so with, with some hope um, and some confidence of God's um, presence and uh, the security in knowing that, that you are loved. You are loved by your Creator. You are loved, um, hopefully, by your neighbor if, we are, if each of us are... Um, responding to God's love that we have received first. And if you're not loved and looking for a place where um, people are loving, I invite you to continue to gather in this space, both on Wednesdays and Sunday mornings, whether it's just online or um, if you're able and happen to be in the neighborhood in person on a Sunday morning. Thanks so much for spending this time on my vacation with me. And I look forward to seeing you next week for another Hump Day Hallelujah. Take care.